No matter what's happening in your life, pray. No matter what sin you're committing and how much of it you're committing, pray. No excuses. Sister tells me, brother, I don't wear hijab. I tell you, pray. She tells me, look, you know, my dress code is not the best. I tell you, pray. Brother, I drink alcohol. Pray. Brother tells me I sell drugs. Pray. I take drugs. Pray. I have a girlfriend and I'm sleeping with her. I tell you, pray. No matter what's happening in your life, pray. But brother, how can I be committing all of these sins and pray? That's disrespectful or that makes me a hypocrite. I tell you, no. That's why we pray. Because we're not perfect. We're sinners. We do wrong. Pray. Allah says the prayer will take you away from sin. Pray. You know, sometimes people say, look, let me straighten my life out and inshallah, I'm going to start praying. Habibi, you will never straighten anything out if you don't pray. That's why you pray, to straighten your life out. Nothing, my brothers and sisters, let no man get between you and Allah. Pray, no matter what's happening in your life, pray. No matter where you are, pray. You know, sometimes people come to you and tell you, brother or sister, you're a hypocrite. Sister, you know, you don't wear the hijab and you pray. Tell her, sister, thank you very much. I'm a hypocrite. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. But my prayer is between me and Allah. No one else's business. The Prophet of Allah, he says, the difference between us and them is the prayer. The very first question on the day of resurrection that you're going to be asked is about the prayer. If you pass, then everything after that's going to be easy. But if you fail that, then everything after that is just going to get worse. So pray, pray my brothers, you will earn Allah's love. Pray and you will earn His mercy and His forgiveness. Imagine your friend is Allah. Never mind wealth, the heavens and the earth belongs to Him. You become an unstoppable force when Allah is on your side. So please my brothers and sisters, no matter what's happening in your life, pray. Don't let anyone turn you away from Allah. You know when your head... You know when your forehead is on the floor, that's the closest you will ever be to Allah. Cry to Him, beg to Him, ask Allah for direction and you will see happiness through prayer. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who establish their prayer and never leave it no matter what.